This is a bipartisan piece of legislation. This issue transcends uh, any party labels because it is about doing something that's right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to TEEPSPA Live, the launch of the Traveling Exotic Animal and Public Safety Protection Act in both the House of Representatives and the Senate, a bill to end the suffering of wild animals in traveling circuses. We will be hearing from lead sponsors of the bills, Representatives Raul Rijalva and David Schweiker, as well as Senator Robert Menendez. We also have veterinarian Dr. Betsy Koval and president of Animal Defenders International, Jan Creamer. We'll also today have special messages from Chloe East and Georgia Fox about why it is time to consign the use of wild animals and circuses to history. You know how people can't listen to Sarah McLaughlin without thinking of starving, neglected animals? Well, I can't look at the circus without thinking of animal abuse, of bull hooks, and beatings and isolation and fear and, and young ones being ripped away from their mothers all because someone wants to see that animal do a handstand. But most people don't think about that part of the circus because there aren't commercials for that. And let's be honest, no one actually watches the entire commercial because it's too hard. It's gut-wrenching, it is heartbreaking, and it just leaves us feeling guilty and hopeless it's easier to just ignore it. Thank goodness we have brave, compassionate people like Jan and Tim and the entire team at Animal Defenders International who willingly do the hardest thing there is to do. They stare directly at it without blinking. And on top of that, they do something about it. because they know that that is the only way to end the suffering. And shouldn't that be the ultimate goal for our future? To end the suffering? Today, we can make the decision to legally end the suffering forced onto animals who never got to have a say. And in doing so, give the opportunity to human entertainers who do have a say and who, trust me, want nothing more than to perform. It doesn't have to be this way. We have so many entertainment options than ever before from human circus performers to musicians to actors, all willing and ready to do the entertaining. Animals are the reluctant entertainers. They're beaten and they're whipped into performing. So let's start by hearing some from some award-winning actors, directors, musicians, including the late great Ed Asner, who we'd really hope to be here today. We'll listen to the willing entertainers who think it is time to end the suffering. Some of us love to entertain. But animals don't get a choice. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you imagine being stuck in a metal box? Seeing the world through bars? No grass beneath your feet? No space to run. Tied up, chained. Barely able to move. Shouted at. Stop it! Electric shocked. Kicked. Punched. Beaten. All for a few minutes of entertainment. All for a few minutes of entertainment. A few minutes of entertainment. Few minutes of entertainment. Few minutes of entertainment. All for a few minutes of entertainment. We know how these magnificent animals should live. And we know that traveling from place to place, week after week, circuses can never provide, really can't provide what these animals really need. No wonder countries have passed laws to end this misery. But we let it continue. We can stop circus suffering today. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's that simple. It is that simple. It's that simple. It's that simple. It's that simple. 
It's that simple. It's that simple. It's that simple. Just leave the entertainment to those who want to perform. We have a choice. We have a choice. A choice. A choice. A choice. A choice. We have a choice. Thank you to Ed Asner, Georgia Fox, Eric Roberts, Mindy Sterling, Eric Smanda, Moby, Alexandra Paul, Tanya Kay, James Cromwell, Danny Boyle, Brian Blessed, and Diane Warren. This important bill has lead sponsors from both the Democrat and Republican parties. First, Representative Raul Grijalva, who will introduce us to the bill. Hi, I'm Congressman Raul Grijalva. I'm one of the original co-sponsors of the Traveling Exotic Animal and Public Safety Protection Act, and I'm proud to introduce this important legislation in the 117th Congress alongside my colleague, Senator Bob Menendez of New Jersey and Representative David Schreicher of Arizona. First and foremost, thank you to Animal Defenders International, countless animal rights activists, and the staff for their advocacy and leadership on this issue. Because of their tireless work, we have been able to make significant progress on this issue. Now we have an opportunity to build off that momentum as dozens of cities, counties, and states across the United States have banned traveling circuses and a number of prominent entertainment companies have stopped using live animals in their performances. While these are great strides forward, there is still work to be done at the federal level. Congress has a responsibility to protect the welfare of animals and ensure public safety. At its core, the legislation is simple. It's about ending the inhumane practice of using exotic or wild creatures for entertainment in traveling circus and other traveling acts. This legislation is bipartisan and bicameral and a cause that members on both sides of the aisle agree upon. Everyone should agree that animals deserve to grow and thrive in their own natural habitat or protected sanctuaries. Traveling animal acts deprive exotic and wild animals of their basic dignity and create a safety hazard for the public. Unfortunately, circus workers and members of the public, including children, have been killed and maimed by circus animals. Lions, tigers, elephants, and a slew of other exotic and wild animals should not be confined to small cramped spaces for hours at an end. Nor should they be forced to perform acts that are unnatural to them. Traveling circuses have used methods like bull hooks, electric prods, whips, and metal bars to coerce animals into performing tricks. There's nothing entertaining about seeing animals suffer, and the vast majority of Americans agree with this. It's past time we updated our antiquated animal welfare laws and prohibited traveling circuses from using exotic and wild animals for human entertainment. Together, we have an opportunity to end the suffering and ban this dangerous practice once and for all. I'm proud to help play a small part to protect such amazing animals and work alongside folks who support this noble cause. Please continue to be a loud voice for those who have none. Thank you for all your efforts. I look forward to our continued work and passing this bill into law once and for all. And now, TEEPSPA's other lead sponsor, Representative David Schweikert. I have a three-year-old little girl. I want her to be able to see these majestic animals in a natural habitat, um, acting as you know God intended them to. And the, the fact of the matter is, I, I think in today's world, we understand what's entertainment, what's exploitation. And in a world today where we all walk around with supercomputers in our pocket, where I can see the entire world. I can now see the, the you know, amazing biodiversity of our world. It's not 100 years ago. Um, it, 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 if we want the elegance of, of, of the animal kingdom, we want to see in a natural habitat how they exist in their environment. 
not jumping through loops and dancing for us. So, so this is not only just the ethically right thing to do, the safety right thing to do, but I actually think for the future, it's also the right thing to do. A companion TEEPSPA bill is being launched simultaneously in the Senate by Senator Robert Menendez. This is why. Hello, I'm U.S. Senator Bob Menendez from New Jersey, and today I'm excited to introduce the Traveling Exotic Animal and Public Safety Protection Act in the United States Senate. It's an honor to lead this effort in the 117th Congress alongside my House colleagues, Congressman Raul Grijalba and David Schweikert of Arizona. This is a significant piece of legislation, and I want to thank all the tireless animal rights activists like yourselves and organizations like Animal Defenders International for your enthusiasm, your advocacy, and your support. I especially want to recognize all the advocates from New Jersey who helped our state become the first in the nation to ban traveling circuses, carnivals, and fairs that featured wild and exotic animals back in 2018. And while I am tremendously proud of my home state, it is well past time that we as a nation agree that traveling animal acts are inhumane and barbaric. As you know, these shows continue some of nature's most majestic and precious animals to be cramped in cages so small that they barely have room to move. And when the animals are free of their cages, they are often subjected to whips, electric prods, and other violence to force them to either practice or perform their so-called acts. I believe that when we treat animals inhumanely, we betray our own humanity. Abusing animals for the sake of so-called entertainment has no place in 21st century America. It's well past time that Congress update our federal laws and the Traveling Exotic Animal and Public Safety Protection Act is our opportunity to do just that. I'm proud that New Jersey has led the nation on this issue, but I've served in Washington long enough to know that passing landmark legislation like this bill is never easy. Fortunately, we have advocates like all of you committed to building support across the country. So let me close by thanking Animal Defenders International for everything that you do. Your advocacy gives voice to animals who may have no voice of their own, but surely long for a life free of suffering and abuse. Dr. Betsy Coville is a USDA accredited veterinarian with over 30 years of experience working with exotic animals. She has a master's in veterinary forensic sciences, enabling her to see the tragic long-term impacts of circus life on these animals, as well as the day-to-day -day suffering that they endure. Dr. Betsy Kogel. Due to their very nature, traveling circuses are inherently cruel and cause animal suffering. They live and travel in intolerably restricted spaces, which must be collapsible and transportable to the next venue. Bears, lions, and tigers are loaded in a cage no bigger than a queen-size bed. Elephants are chained by a front leg and a back leg and unable to walk. All have to endure poor ventilation, temperature extremes, with feces and urine-soaked bedding for hours on the road. They're subjected to a travel and work schedule that is inhumane by any standard. These wild animals entertain with unnatural tricks only after being beaten, whipped, stabbed, shocked, and chained. These maneuvers involve abnormal repetitive positions with resultant joint damage, osteoarthritis, and perpetual pain, which are tragically documented even after removal from the circus. Not only can they not meet their basic physical needs, but also the behavioral and social requisites. The isolation alone results in boredom, leads to frustration, cage biting, and self-mutilation. A high level of coercion and physical violence is needed to control dangerous animals and rudimentary temporary facilities and flimsy barriers with the public. 
beyond the frightening documented incidences of attacks and escaped, unbeknownst to the audience, several lions, tigers, and primates have tested positive to COVID in the U.S., which imparts a clear and present threat. Another continual risk is elephants can commonly carry TB transmissible to humans. The public no longer has a warm and fuzzy feeling watching wild animal stunts after realizing it is only possible through punishment and fear. It is time to end this brutality. And now a special message from Georgia Fox. She's a star of the West Wing, ER, and is known to over 73 million viewers around the world as Sarah Seidel in CSI. She's just finished filming CSI Vegas, and she is an ADI ambassador who has backed this bill since its inception. Georgia Fox. Thanks, Kim. I am so pleased to be a part of this today. You know, some people think that circuses are educational when in fact, all they do is teach people how not to treat animals. They set a terrible example that it's okay to keep animals in cages and on chains and deprive them of a natural life, of social interaction, of enrichment, of families, of sustainable habitats. All of this simply for people's amusement. Over 40 countries have passed legislation similar to TEEPSPA. It is well overdue for the United States of America to join them. Please support this important bill. These animals deserve our respect and our compassion. And now one of the leaders of the campaign to end the use of animals in circuses. Someone who has been inside the circus and has seen the suffering, secured laws in different countries, and led her team to emptying the cages in countries like Bolivia, Peru, and Guatemala when the bans are passed. She's the founder and president of Animal Defenders International, Jan Creamer. Thank you, Kim. Animal Defenders International is based in Los Angeles and we're honored today and very grateful to have two bills um, being presented um, for the reintroduction of the Traveling Exotic Animal and Public Safety Protection Act. In the House, Representatives Raul Grijalva and David Tricart will be introducing a bill and we have a Senate companion uh, being presented by Senator Robert Menendez. Since the launch of ADI's investigations and studies of animals and circuses two decades ago now, we've seen four bans enacted, statewide bans enacted in uh, New Jersey, Hawaii, Colorado and California, and a hundred local jurisdictions across 34 states have all decided that looking at the evidence the cruelty for entertainment is not acceptable in a modern society. So there is progress being made across the US, but because these circuses constantly travel between states, it's a federal bill that we need now to really end the suffering. The problem with animals in circuses is really that um, it dates back to a time when we were ignorant. Human beings were ignorant of the emotions, the communications, the intelligence of other species. Um, but now we do understand. Studies of animals have shown that um, they feel frustration, fear, distress. They feel joy, happiness and pleasure. So now that we know more about how those animals are feeling, we can understand the effect that circus life has on them. We know that deprivation, confinement, frustration, fear, and life, lifelong stress causes suffering to those animals. We can see the abnormal behaviors of the animals in the circuses when they're rocking and swaying, um, pacing backwards and forwards. All of those are indicators that the animal is feeling frustrated, chronically stressed, and in fear for all of its life. So we know that we are damaging those animals by keeping them in that situation because we now know so much more about the inner life of animals. We can't plead, plead ignorance any longer. At the end of the day, the infliction of pain and suffering on an animal for a few min minutes of entertainment 
is shameful. The growth area in circus performances is actually with skilled human entertainers. The most important thing circus animals need you to do today is take action. Contact your member of Congress. Call their office, email them, go to see them, but make sure that they understand how passionately you feel about ending circus suffering. We can get this done in the US. 50 other countries have already done this. If we get a ban on animal circuses in the US, it will reverberate around the world. Go to stopcircussuffering.com and take action. Do it now. When we first launched this bill in the House of Representatives, U.S. icon Bob Barker gave this impassioned speech, which remains just as relevant today. The countries of the world are coming to terms with the fact that exotic animals cannot be healthy and can't even approach being happy in a traveling circus. And I think, and I think all of us will agree, that it is time for the United States to join this parade of nations that is doing the right thing. And you can help by presenting the facts. Americans love animals. Seventy percent of the homes in the United States have at least one pet. And a vast majority of, of Americans are totally opposed to animal cruelty. They will respond when they're aware. That's how we've made advances on behalf of animals, by making people aware. That's all they need. Then they will act. So I beseech you to present the facts. And, and, and just to make this something that we can all understand, let me point out that these exotic animals in their natural habitat remain with their mothers for weeks, months, even years. They don't leave their mothers. But if they're going to perform in a, in a, a circus, a traveling circus, then they are torn from their mothers almost at birth, when they're only months old. It's a terrible psychological thing for the mother, and it's a terrible psychological thing for the baby. But the baby is then taken and goes right into training when it's only a few months old. Training to perform the ridiculous tricks that they're going to be forced to perform in their circus. And how do they train them? They have to dominate the animal. How do they dominate the animal? They beat it with clubs, fists, blackjacks, axe handles, golf clubs. They shock it with all sorts of electric devices. They use bull hooks on them. They even deprive them of food and even water in order to make them do these tricks. And they don't stop. Once they've taught them these tricks, they continue to beat them. They beat them throughout their entire lives. They know, never know a, a day that is really pleasurable. And finally, after 20, 30, maybe even 40 years, they die. 
And that day that they die is probably the best day of their lives. Isn't that a horrible thought? We all have problems, but we all have good days. These animals don't have good days. And now I am delighted to bring you another person from the entertainment industry. She's speaking out on behalf of the reluctant entertainers. From True Blood, Kevin Saves the World, Generations, and right now filming Steven Spielberg's The Fablemans, Chloe East. Thanks, Kim. Hi, everyone. I'm Chloe East. Um, I'm so honored to join you, Animal Defenders International, in the bill sponsored in support of TEEPSPA. I feel very passionate that wild animals do not belong in circuses. These animals spend their entire lives confined in small cages or on short chains and tethers. They are controlled, abused, and perform out of fear. When countries pass laws like TEEPSPA, animals can be rescued by ADI. And I have been so moved when I see these rescued animals come alive and enjoy their space and freedom after confinement and suffering. And I cannot thank ADI enough for their charity for these animals. And seeing these rescued animals so happy just makes me think about how desperate they must have been while in the circus. It is heartbreaking that my country still allows wild animals to be used in circuses when so many others have already emptied the cages. Right now, elephants are living in chains, barely able to move. Tigers, lions, and bears on cages on the back of trucks just to entertain and amuse people in the United States. We have such an incredible entertainment industry here with movies, TV, the performing arts, and so much more. And we just don't need animals to be abused in the name of entertainment. We just don't need it. Please help this campaign. Help us empty the cages in the US. Your members of Congress need to hear from you. Go to StopCircusSuffering.com and click on Support TEEPSPA on the main page. Enter your contact details. It will find your Congress members and you can just send them a message there. And ADI has prepared some text which can make it very easy for you or you can edit it and make it your own. Just let your Congress members know why ending circus suffering is important to you and why you want to sponsor TEEPSPA. What is even more effective is arranging to meet your Congress members in their district offices. ADI can provide information packs about the suffering, the economic impacts, uh, safety issues, and more. And you can even go with friends and family if you want to. That would be a great idea. Uh, remember, they need to hear from you. You are the voices for the animals. And keep spreading the word. If you like our Stop Circus Suffering shirts or sweatshirts, you can shop them at uh, StopCircusSuffering.com. They are a great conversation starter. Um, make sure you sign up for ADI's alerts and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for updates and calls to action. Please join us to support TEEPSPA and stop circus suffering in the U.S. Let's confine the use of animals and circuses to the history books and leave the performing to the humans. Thank you so much, Chloe. We are going over to ADI General Counsel Christina Scaringe for an update on the latest congressional support for TEEPSPA. Thanks, Kim, and thanks to all of you who've been reaching out to StopCircusSuffering.com to contact your legislators for TEEPSPA. So I am really excited to announce that we already have 10 original co-sponsors, including Reps Bonamici and DeFazio from Oregon, Reps Boyle and Dean, from Pennsylvania, Rep Brownlee and Huffman from California, Rep Connolly from Virginia, Rep uh, Custer from New Hampshire, Rep Maloney from New York, and Rep Norton from DC. So that's just a fantastic start. So please keep those calls and emails coming. Let your legislators know that you want to stop circus suffering. And before I pass it back to you, let me take a quick check to see if we have any more. And I have great news, we're now up to 22 original co-sponsors. So your calls and emails are working, folks. Keep it up. Thanks again, and back to you, Kim. That's great news. Thank you, Christina. Do you have any last words for anyone who is watching this and feeling inspired? 
I think uh, my, my final words for, to call people to action would be to say, think about everything you've seen today. Mm -hmm. Think about the way those animals live. Mm -hmm. They spend their whole lives in one tiny space. They never get to choose. How would we feel if we never got to choose whether we stand up or sit down? We don't get to choose whether we go for a drink of water when we eat. And I think the biggest thing that I see in the ones that we rescue is how they come alive. They come to the sanctuary, they walk on grass, they feel mm. the sun on their back. They can run if they want to. Contact your member of Congress, send them an email, go to see them even better, and talk to your friends about it, your family. Ask everyone you know to take action this week to support Teepsva. So Jan, tell us what happens if this law is passed, if this becomes successful. If this law is passed, we'll be freeing these animals from suffering. And we can certainly relocate the animals, we can find homes for them. The US has an enormous uh, animal protection infrastructure, a lot of very large groups. Everyone is ready and prepared to help these animals. And the thing to remember is that uh, the US will join 50 countries who, who've already looked at this evidence and decided that it is wrong for animals to be made to suffer for just a few minutes of entertainment. It is really is time for Teepspa. So if everyone acts today, we can do this. We've already done it in 50 countries. We 50 countries, and the US is not one of them yet. Yet. <laughs> yet, but it will be. <laughs> Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us for Teepspa Live, and please help us get this important bill passed. Help the US join. 50 countries who have already passed similar laws to protect animals from suffering. Tell your friends, tell your family, get involved.